the more ashia you have, the more you're the successful one. So you're the winner. If you don't have ashia, uh, nobody looks at you, nobody counts you. You have to have ashia, things, toys, let's call them toys. It's nice that you call them toys because adults, you know, man and big man and big woman, don't call what they like and what they collect toys. That's for children. The word toys, no, that's, no, but they are toys. They are toys, but you don't call them toys because you, you're going to sound like a child. And now you are in control. You define the words and the meaning of the words. A child cannot tell you, don't call me a child. He's not going to tell you, don't call me a toy. Don't call what I have toys. I'm more intelligent than that. I'm more mature than that. But that's the haqiqa. We all have toys. And we like toys. Cars are toys. Ships are toys. Motorcycles are toys. Whatever. Computers are toys. iPhones are toys. You all have toys. The more toys, the better. Isn't it? Why would people, when a new iPhone comes, a new model comes before it is sold and it costs a thousand dollars or so in a civilized country, they come out and spend 48 hours in a line, sleeping outside to buy it, to buy the first toy. And then after that, after that people are still going ahead and ahead to do like them. Maybe they do it a little later when it's a little cheaper. But it's the same thing. And you never needed it. It was never necessary. Well, how come? You know, we cannot live in a home without furniture. We cannot live in a home where there is no chairs and no tables and no kada and no kada. It's true, I cannot, cannot live alone in an empty space. Pascal said that a long time ago. He said the Western man, the European man is a man who cannot live alone, sit alone in an empty space. That's why I think, that's why sometimes people, the way they arrange their homes and they decorate their homes, a lot of furniture. Ooh. A lot of furniture, a lot of things. And there's the way to express, I don't know what. Yes, this is as real, so it's not about the others, it's about, about us, you and me, all of us. And that's where most of us are, in that cage, which we deceive ourselves of calling it freedom to possess. Freedom to own. Freedom to make money. I'm not saying that it's haram to make, to make money, but the attitude, it's in the qalb, the excesses.